Oh, look, there is free pups. Hey, welcome everybody to a another video. This is uh, fully armed over here. Your host. Um, just want to give thanks uh, to all your viewers. Uh, thank you for subscribing, for watching our channel. Uh, we have seen tremendous growth, but it's thanks to you, to the community. I also want to give a shout out, quick shout out to um, our director and to those who have been helping me with the creation of content, writing, and everything else like that. Um, to be honest, I just do the video and help out a little bit, but we have a team that is helping and supporting all of this that you guys get to view each and every single time. Okay, so today, um, I do want to talk about something that happens a lot, which is um, when you grab somebody's macro, right? Um, and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, right from the beginning, you one of the things you do have to do, um, and I and I miss talking about it in my basic video. Um, you have to recalibrate your mouse. Okay, so for example, I have a screen size. You know what? It'll be good to bring my my screen size up here. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Again, this is this video. I just sit down and do them. There, there is no prepping or really anything else like that so this is my screen size 1920 by 80 um, but if we look right resolution um, go to images real quick ah, here it is so this is the one I run but you know here's 4k okay a lot of people have the new 4k monitor it is you know super big compared to the screen size that we normally run on the computers a lot of computers run something a little smaller okay so if i make a mouse click at this resolution 1920 by 1080 it's going to work on all these other stuff but it's not going to work on the lower resolution okay um, so you in the macro, okay, you grab somebody's macro and you grab one of mine, um, and you might have to change that location. Maybe it's causing issues and it's clicking over here. It's clicking over here. It clicks. If you were running two screens, it clicks on the second screen. Uh, it clicks here. Who knows where it clicks, right? Only, you know, so the best thing to do is when you have your macro and I'm going to minimize this a little bit okay <clears throat> is that right here this is your mouse your right button down up um so you click on it and here see how when i move my mouse it moves you choose on this screen where you want to calibrate uh, now, I personally have my own preference, so you could. A lot of people have it here. Okay, I don't like to have it here. You don't want to have it here because it clicks in your chat, or you have to do this each and every single time. Who wants to do that? You don't want it here because you have all your your bees. You know, depending if you have this open. Right, so you don't you don't want that. Um, I don't like to have it here in the middle because it clicks on me. Okay, my and again, this is just a personal preference. I like to click here. Look, my mouse does absolutely nothing there. So if I wanted to click there, how? Not, and again, not all my macros do that. Only the ones that had issues did I change it to that. <laughs> so it does not do that all the time okay um if you switch your mac ring to another screen it's gonna jack that up because if i go to my second screen okay this is my second screen this is the screen that you cannot see that i have obs studio on and look at those numbers it goes all the way up if i capture something over here my macro is never gonna work because it's not even in bean source familiar at that time so the best thing to do Click over here where you want it. Hit function F2. Well, my on my on my computer I have to hit function F2. On yours, you might just have to hit F2. 
because the F2 over here doesn't work unless you hit function first. It's just the way I have my keyboard set up. So hit F2, which it tells you here to capture the current position. Okay. I like to clean it up. I like to make my macro look like if I'm doing this, something, something like this. Okay. Uh, I might go and since it's an area, you know, I know it's somewhere around here. I ain't going to have a problem. Okay. You know, you can play around with it. Okay. This brings the, so going up and down changes the number here, going left to right changes the number here. Okay. So this is left to right and this is up and down. Okay. So you could adjust it to, you know, again, where you want it. Pretty much, I'm clicking right around there, almost perfect, right? Um, and that's it. You could go ahead, put your mouse, and be like, oh, that's the coordinates, and then just type it in if you want. Um, you know what, this is F3. Find the main recorder. Ah, uh, this is just close that, okay. So cancel, okay, close that. But yeah, and that's how you do it. Now, when you select different commands, right, where you want to click and everything else, you have all these options. This just does a regular left click, one click, mouse right click uh, to move. I don't think I ever used that one. Left button down, left button up. Okay, left button down usually will bring down, you know, um, just like in the left button down. What does right button down do? You know, so you see all that uh, different stuff um, in the macro. Okay, let me just get to this epic. All right. Just land right there. Don't worry about it. Okay. Left button now. Middle button. Your wheel. And stuff like that. Most of the time I see left button, right button, and click. Okay. Um, that's what you're going to see in most macros. This one has a button down. Over here, uh, here's your left button down, so it could actually start farming the field. Um, so you can position the mouse whatever you want. I just personally don't like uh, seeing the bees open, and then if my mouse position is, for example, in the dialog box, that could be dangerous. If it's where you know you're trying to kill snail, and you have it in uh, in the area that says replace. And you come up in the morning and you're like, I didn't want, I didn't want that, but you messed up on your macro. Okay. So for me personally, I just like it up there on the top left. So that is my recommendation. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns about your mouse placement, I will definitely, every macro that you get, definitely check those. I ran into issue not checking it and having problems with my macro. Thankfully, I was able to figure that out and I did want to share that with everybody because um, I know a lot of people in the community ask about that. So that is how you calibrate your mouse clicks. Again, this is your host for the army. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave it in a comment. I just ask that you give us time to respond. OK, um, because, you know, we don't uh, we put this. Uh, we're glad to put this content up uh, where we are, have a lot of contests that we're currently trying to get uploaded and we are very busy doing a lot of work for the community right now so thank you very much for watching um i hope you guys have a wonderful blessed day morning evening or afternoon just depending on where you are at thank you for watching please share like and let other people know that we are here so we could uh so this community could grow and more and more people can macro this this is not just for us this is for the community we want to see the community grow we want to see um more macro developers you know there's a lot of ways to do things and um just because i do it a certain way doesn't mean that it is the best way you know so it'll be good to see other people creating t content and doing a lot of wonderful fabulous stuff here with the macros so you guys have a wonderful day. You guys take care. Bye-bye.